Hey guys, it's Pam with Perfectly Holistic and I've got my sweet Gunner here. And we're just gonna talk to you guys real quick about the process of storing your cat's food, whether it be dry, canned, fresh, or frozen. And little known industry secret about when that food actually really expires. So one of the concepts you have to think about is something called oxidation. So whenever you open a product and it becomes exposed to air, the ingredients in that food start to change. It's, called, it's a chain reaction that um, happens in the presence of oxygen. And it's also responsible for breaking down the, or deteriorating the quality of the food. And this also reduces the amount of nutritional value that it has. So first thing we're gonna talk about is storing or what you do with the leftover wet food. So if you're feeding a pouch or a can, and let's say your cat doesn't eat it all, I used to take a lid and put it on top and stick it in the refrigerator, right? Well, that's not really what we should be doing. Instead, store it in a glass or a stainless steel container because the chemicals, yes, there are chemicals even in cans and pouches, the materials start to leach into the food as it sits in this once you've opened it. So a better option, of course, is just to put it in something that isn't gonna do that. So glass and stainless steel would be your best options. Now, if you're talking about dry foods, let's say you opened a, a package of dry kibble. Once that bag is open, you wanna make sure that you use it up within a month. And here's why. They did a study, this, this company called Kimmon did a study on oxidation and foods and what they found was the minute you pop open that bag of dry food that oxidation process starts to happen um, within one week the scale went up by two weeks it's like really starting to change the quality of the food and by the four week mark it was crazy toxic so if your cat decides that she doesn't like the cat food the dry food that you're feeding after about four weeks, that's why. Because the fats in that food are starting to really become rancid. And we may not smell it, but the cats do. They really smell the changes in the food and they can know when something is not good for them anymore. So if you're gonna feed a dry food, make sure that you feed that bag up within four weeks, uh, preferably two to four weeks just to be safe. If you are feeding a dry food as well, or a freeze-dried or whatever, make sure that you squeeze as much of that air out of the package as you can. And then make sure you seal it really, really well so it can at least uh, lock in some of that freshness that's still available. Now, we're gonna talk about fresh foods. If you make fresh or homemade diets, make sure and you're going to freeze this make sure you freeze it in glass like pyrex or stainless steel containers and once you have taken that fresh food out of the freezer and you're putting it in your refrigerator make sure you use it up in about three to four days to make sure that again that oxidation process isn't going to turn that food bad um, the final thing I wanted to share with you guys is if you're actually using or feeding frozen package of some kind, one of the good things that you can do is make sure that you write on the package the date you opened the bag. And this is important because it really doesn't matter what the expiration date says on the package. The the clock starts ticking the moment you open the bag. So if it's in the freezer, you wanna make sure that you use that up within three months because after three months, there is, there is a huge drop in the nutritional value and they start losing the nutrients in the food. So if, you fed a, if you're feeding a food past that three month mark that's been in the freezer and you've opened it, you really need to start looking at maybe adding some extra supplementation to offset that nutrient loss. You can also write on your freeze-dried packages or your 
dry food packages that open date because again it's not about the expiration date on the package that's only good as long as the package is sealed but the moment you open it that clock is ticking and that the potential for rancidity and the deterioration in the food really increases so i hope this is helpful for you guys i thought it was fascinating and it was just really eye-opening to see how fast our pet's food can really deteriorate once we open the package.